The Eurasian cave lion is a separate species of the modern day lion, different in behavior and anatomy, that existed from the middle to late Pleistocene through the early Holocene from 1 million to 12,000 years ago. Cave lions range from 700 to 800 pounds in weight and 7 feet long, not including their tail. One of the biggest lion species to ever walk the earth, second only to the American lion and their early ancestors, the Panthera fossilis that is thought to have pioneered expansion into Eurasia. Eurasian cave lions had some odd habits and physical differences when compared to their closest extant relatives, the modern day lion. For example, they were thought to be a solitary animal and lacked impressive manes and even had skulls that were more similar to tigers than lions. Sparking some small debate on which extant panthera species they were more closely related to, but genetic testing concluded that the Eurasian cave lion was undoubtedly a separate lion species. Cave lions were believed to have had an immense range inhabiting Europe from the Iberian Peninsula to Central Europe, Southeast Europe, and the East Plains of Europe, all the way to Russia, Turkestan, and even in North America, and places like Alaska and Canada. Cave lion habitat would have included subpolar regions, grasslands, and coniferous forests which means that the vegetation was mainly composed of cone-bearing needle leaves such as pines, spruce, and firs that grow in areas with long winters and heavy annual precipitation. Cave lions got their names from the discovery of numerous lion remains found in caves. Scientists have said that this is not a result of cave lions inhabiting caves, but them preying on hibernating animals in caves, such as juvenile cave bears. We know this because of isotope analysis on cave lion collagen that supports the idea that they preyed on cave bears. Isotope analysis works to analyze certain isotopes absorbed by plant-eating animals that would vary in the isotopes they contained based on different diets. Those same isotopes would then be transferred to the animals that would have preyed on them. Scientists have a pretty solid idea on what predators would eat as different isotopes from different plants that were consumed by different herbivores would end up in the predator's collagen. Isotopic analysis also supports the idea that reindeers made up a large part of the cave lion's diet. For most of the cave lion's existence, the competition they encountered was close to none as they had different habits and prey preferences to the other apex predators that inhabited the same continent in the same era such as cave hyenas and scimitar tooth cats that resided in open areas preferring larger prey animals such as woolly rhinos and woolly mammoths. Unlike cave lions who were more forest dwelling creatures who preyed more frequently on animals such as prehistoric deer and horses that all changed at the end of the Pleistocene when temperatures rose, glaciers and tundras retreated giving way to the new growth of forests. This rendered many megafauna extinct due to the fact that they were not adapted to forest habitats and the warming climate. In theory, the Eurasian cave lion should have ruled this new environment due to the fact that they inhabited forest habitats beforehand and the continued existence of reindeer, aka their preferred prey, according to isotope analysis. While it may be true that cave lions continued to live around 10,000 years after the Pleistocene ended, it was not without challenges. The introduction of wolves and human hunters would come at the expense of the legendary cave lion as they simply outclassed them in every way. Wolves being previously restricted due to the earlier expansion of plains were built for endurance and did not need to consume nearly as much as cave lions, giving them the freedom to in simple words be more reckless in their hunting method, something cave lions who were ambush predators cannot afford to do. Aside from competing with wolves who were much more successful in hunting the same prey animals, they were also facing stiff competition from human hunters who not only hunted the same prey as lions but actually hunted them as well. As researchers discovered that humans were actively hunting and skinning cave lions around 16,000 years ago, all in all a perfect storm to render the cave lion extinct no longer than 12,000 years ago. It is a shame that we will never get to share the same space as these prehistoric beasts but real world discoveries of cave lions give us a glimpse into the past. In 2015, scientists discovered two completely intact Eurasian cave lion cubs that were thought to be about 55,000 years old and another cub being found in 2017 in the same area thought to be around 8 weeks old at the time of death. And another one in 2018 when another cub was discovered in the retreating Siberian permafrost with the cub being estimated to be around 30,000 years old. All cubs were found in extremely good shape with some having their lungs, heart, and brain intact. 
scientists have said that cloning is a very real possibility as it is possible to collect DNA off the nearly perfect preserved K line specimens. This is Anna Monoro. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.